pretty awesome intro if I do say myself, which I do. Uh, it says trial because he's a freeware, but here we are with the third post sister. You hit the picture to knock down these blocks, now you got, I think, a minute to push this stupid block out of the way, and then rearrange all the blocks so it shows the picture of the third post sister. Now, you want to do this the first time, yeah, it was a minute. You want to do this the first time because the second time it messes up the blocks a bit, so this is the easiest. Just get them all together. You can definitely do it in under a minute, it's pretty simple. But yeah, about the intro, I downloaded a, a free, uh, like a trial service of some of this cool 3D animation thing. And so that's why it says trial in the background. Uh, it sucks that it says that, but the intro is pretty badass. Took me a while, but it's pretty badass, so I'm not gonna. Not gonna lie, I really love it. But anyways, after you finish that, the third post sister appears, and she's just like all the rest. No big deal. Yeah, so I beat Skyward Sword, and me and my friend are work are currently working on doing um, making a parody for it, which we I posted a video about auditions. Who knows when? Because who knows when I'm gonna post it, or get it posted, or finish. Fuck, I don't know. Anyway, kick her ass and continue with everything else. The green thing will that, and now we. Blah, 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 blah. The green fire will light. I have full arrows, and we have one more post sister to um to beat up. So let's go there. I think we can just jump through here. Anyways, she's in the main room. This is Meg, the only post sister whose name I can remember. Anyways. They're all, they're all edited, they're, as you saw before, they're all edited into their videos, but here's the picture, and she is probably the only one who decides to do something different. She splits into four. Now, you'll be able to know the actual Meg, because the when they, she splits into four, she spins. So look for the one that spins, lock onto it, her, and shoot it with an arrow. Pretty simple, straightforward, but if you kill all three of the shat, of the not Megs, I'm gonna call them. Not Megs, not Meg, what, no. Then if you kill all three of the shadows, I guess, clones, whatever, then she'll attack you, and swoop and attack you, and you can't dodge it. But, so it's best just to um, figure out which one it is, lock on, shoot, get a one in four chance, kill, after that, one in three, after that, one in two, after that, you're screwed. But, <laughs> He's on the top of the elevator. I love doing that. That's why I like staying in the center. Plus, it's easier. Anyways, go down the elevator and to this next part, um, I'm, which I'm gonna do after I, you know, save real quick and stuff. No big deal. But anyways, this is a push room. I'm gonna call it the push room. Push, 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 push. Anyways, so you push it and the whole thing spins around, and you can visit different rooms. Now this one has a little chest inside, kick it. We got the thing! Just some arrows. Keep moving. Um, yeah, someone interrupted me while I was recording. Sorry about that, that usually doesn't happen, but I'm gonna try- I pushed them all the way the same way until I had to go back. So, uh, just running around, there's a wall. Can't go there. So here, there's a crystal switch. I'm gonna shoot it from a distance because it's fun, and it opens that gate. So we can go through here, and Zelda logic tells us to push the switch. So I did so, which unlocks a wall. <sighs> Anyways, let's push. And there we go. Skull to a. Now it's easier. You can do the hook shot, or you can shoot in the face with an arrow. You, anymore, 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 nope, nope, nope. Alright, I've got full hearts, let's go. Alright, just push this. No, push it, Link! Push it! Uh, just go in this room, which we just ungated. Nothing. But now that room's gated. The ungated room to the ungatable. I need to get in there! Rage quit. Not really. Alright, look up. We need an arrow. Shoot the arrow. I didn't even go in the eye, but... Oh well. 
That was a uh, weird camera angle. Wow, TMI. But, as it, you can see, a little emblem and the door locked, so we're gonna go in there. And I've pre recorded this, so I'll see you guys later. Bye, -o. And I had a little problem with the camera, but here you go. And welcome to the first Adult Link Battle boss fight. Anyways, go up here and. What, where's the boss? Where is the boss? So I go all through. I knew it was too good to be true. Well, who's the boss of this area? What? Uh, what? Ganon? Are you serious? Holy mother of god. Oh, it's just a fandom. Okay. Kick his ass! Anyways, this battle is pretty simple and there's an easy way not to take damage. Well, for the first part anyways. Basically, there are, uh, there are paintings all around this room. You just There are also little Triforce spots like this on the room. Stand in one of these corners and you can never get hurt. Now two Ganon, Phantom Ganons will be coming out of the picture at the same time. You must shoot the one that comes out as it's coming out. The other one will just turn around and run back like a little pussy. That's because it's fake. So. You just look around, sometimes, just in this recording, there'll be sometimes where it doesn't show up, and or I'll shoot the wrong one. I got lucky the first two times, but that's not standard. And I guess you could move around, but it's best just to stay in one spot, you'll see why here in a second. Because if you don't shoot him out of the painting, um, like see that was a fake one, he's behind me, I didn't have enough time to move around, so he'll shoot this giant lightning bolt, and if you're not standing in one of the Triforce spots, see I've got full health. If you're not standing on one of the Triforce spots, you'll get hit. So, now, even if you're wearing headphones, it really doesn't help tell, to tell where he is, because, see? He's right behind me. I missed him. Fuck. Anyways, he'll just keep doing this until you hit him so many times. See, we've hit him twice so far. Forget the actual amount of times you gotta hit him. But I remember, I was getting so pissed this time. You can also alternatively aim in the middle and try to catch him as he floats by. Or you can just gaze around like an idiot like I do. That always works. And it does, because I've done it. And up here I had a little camera mishap, so there's going to be a little jump cut after I hit him the final time. So you hit him three times with the arrows, then you get to this part. Sorry, you didn't miss anything in the fight, I promise. I edited it, but my camera wasn't working. Basically, you're playing tennis with him. Yeah, tennis with Phantom Ganon. This is also done in Wind Waker, um, and the empty bottle trick does work. And what I mean by that is if you have an empty bottle set to an item button, you can play tennis with your empty bottle. I like using my sword because I'm already ready for a jump attack. But let's see, that's six damage. That's we've done six damage so far because of jump attacks, and the master sword does two. So, and then it will get parts where you have to do more volleys. He'll actually start hitting it back, so just play tennis. Link's a better tennis player than you. Hey, look, I distracted him. Anyway, jump attack, jump attack. And that is 12 hits, and he's down. Six, because we have the Master Sword, of course. Is Link's hat, like, frozen? Nope. Okay. So, Ganon said, so now Ganondorf's talking to us. And saying, hey, you only defeated my phantom, blah, 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 blah. I'll banish you to the gap di between dimensions. Why doesn't he take Link there? Does he not realize how much trouble Link's going to cause for him? Anyways. That really doesn't matter. Anyways, we beat the boss. Or at least I did. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. But anyways, you'll be able to take this temple, this thing to get this temple? That, that's not a temple, that's a portal. Anyways, don't forget to grab the heart container. Woohoo! And now, we can leave and get the after dungeon item. I'll see you guys there, because I did not record that part. Bye, y'all! And I'm back! Uh, sorry for the jump cut during that recording, guys, but uh, my camera likes to fuck up. Anyways, we're back in the Chamber of Sages. Does that mean we went from one temple, from the forest temple to the light temple? Doesn't matter really doesn't matter. So now we get to see the Sage of the Forest. Saria? Holy fuck, I did not see that coming. I'm kidding, I did. It's actually in my images at the bottom. 
but she's just like blah 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 we can't be we can't have sex because I'm a sage and you are the hero of time why the fuck not anyway she gives you part of your power in the form of a medallion mmm I'd rather have the sex but whatever so we get the forest medallion at least that's I believe what it's called is it is it am I right am I right am I right am I right forest medallion forest medallion yes I'm actually right for once. Anyways, now we get to go, but I'll always be your friend, but not with benefits. That's the point. God damn it. Anyways, when you land here, you'll see the dead Deku tree. But what's this? What is this? He crouches towards it, and boom. I'm SM9. I'll see you later.